Hello everyone. Today we will solve lead code problem one one five five. So uh, here uh, we have given three integers and k and target. Return the number of possible ways out of uh, the k to power n total ways. So basically we have given n dice and each die has k faces numbered from one to k. And then we have given one target value and we have to return the total results in how many ways we can get that particular target let's take one example if n is 1 k is 6 and target is 3 in that scenario we have one dice with the sixth phase 1 2 3 4 5 6 and how in how many ways we can get the target 3 only one way similarly if 2 and 6 in that scenario we will get get the result in sixth ways like this so the first solution here uh, we can use recursion basically so let's try to do that thing then we will uh, improve our solution so here first of all we have one integer p modulus so we can create a variable for that okay and here now we have some conditions first condition is if our target is less than n that means now let's assume the target is sixth and we have total nine dice in that scenario it is impossible to get uh, target six because in each dice we have at least one number so that's why this is the first condition and if the target is very large if the target is greater than we have total k faces with multiply by n if we have six ties and there there are seven faces in that scenario the target will be 42 so if our target is greater than 42 then it will be you know there is no answer there is no particular uh, like result for that so in that scenario we have to return zero now <coughs> when we have to you know uh, tell uh, this recursion algorithm that this is the correct solution so if our target is greater is equal to is equal to zero let's assume our target is equal to is equal to zero in that scenario we can return one if n is equal to zero zero else zero so let's assume we got our target zero and in that scenario if our n value is also zero then we will add this result because here we got the target value and if it is not then we can return zero and if uh, these these both conditions are not satisfied then we have to run a for loop so for that we can create answer variable then we can run a for loop in range of 1 to k 1 to k plus 1 and then we can call this function so basically we can directly add this function self dot nums and here our n value will be decreased our k value will be same and our target value will also decrease minus i because uh, we are doing this for operation for the first loop then for the second dice then third dice so like that we have to reduce the number of dices the k value is same and also we have to reduce the target and in the end we can simply return our answer value now let's try to run this solution yeah we did uh, one more mistake i will tell you what we actually did here here we have to also use modulus like reminder p so in that scenario answer reminder self dot p plus uh, our function value whatever value we get from here reminder self dot p and then in outside also we have to do the same thing because it is a adding operation and this is our answer now let's try to run this thing it runs successfully now let's assume if we increase the value of of this this test case 3 let's assume this is 30 and this is also 30 okay it will take some time 
15 we have to increase this count also so that you know we can check our algorithm with the maximum number of constraint like here our n value n and k value should be in 1 to 13 target value should be in 1 to 1000 so that's why i'm checking this algorithm with the maximum number of n and k it is taking too much time maybe yeah so we get tle now let's try to understand why we get tle so in this function each time we are you know giving three argument n k and target so let's try to print these arguments and <clears throat> then we will see <clears throat> is that we are doing some operation repeatedly again and again target okay and here let's decrease this value with 5 5 and here 15 run this code okay let's try to see the answer so here here we have uh, the solutions so as you can see that we are doing these operations multiple time like 0, 05 0, 04 0, 03 again we are doing the same operations here 0, 05 0, we did this operation here then we are again doing the same thing 0, 04 so like this we are doing repetitive operations and it is not a good thing we can save our time by storing the values of you know these particular keys if we create a key using and can target and then we will store these values in in one dictionary and then we can return the value if the value is if the key is available in our dictionary so let's try to do that thing so here we will create uh, create one dictionary that name is dp because we will use dynamic programming or like we are saving the values here and this will be our key key will be and can target we will create a tuple here okay now here if key not in self self dot dp in that scenario we will do this operation and also we will save the value in our dp Self dot dp the key will be our key and the value will be our answer and if the value is already exist in our dictionary in that scenario we will simply return self dot dp of key now let's try to run this function again yeah it is working properly there is no error also the answers are same and now here we are not doing any repetitive tasks so like that we can you know reduce the number of calling operation on, on a particular algorithm uh, on a particular function so let, let's submit it yeah it, it succeed as you can see that uh, our solution is working perfectly fine and uh, so this is a you know very very basic solution first of all we will try to solve this problem using recursion then we can uh, you know print the inputs to see if that if there are any repetitive operations you know repetitive things we are calling again and again so here we found that thing and in that scenario we can use a dictionary or a hash map to store the values so like that this uh, we can solve this problem and this is for this video if you find uh, any difficulty uh, in understanding this solution then you can comment and also if you want to get the solution of some other problem then also you can comment that problem name in the comment box thank you for watching this video